my name is Frederick McCarty. I'm a theater arts major at Fresno City College, and this is my last semester. I have decided to work on some of my poetry for Project 19. And my goal for this project is just to be heard and to connect to the words and to connect to the people. When I do poetry or when I do a monologue, I have to close my eyes because by closing my eyes, I feel like I can attach myself to my words and to the way I say my words. So the first poem um, from Adam to Eve was inspired by the Adam and Eve story. He's no Martin Luther, but you treat him like a king. Unity is the creator of division in the form of a ring, but you'd risk love for diamonds that bling like cubic zirconians in the sunlight. I messed up. <clears throat> I am taking a voice class and it's teaching me how to breathe properly. He's no Martin Luther, but you treat him like a king. And how to speak from my stomach. Unity is the creator of division in the form of a ring. You have to know how to talk to people and you have to know how to use words to express a clearer train of thought. You would risk love for cubic zirconians that bling like diamonds in the light you have a vision. To be like the women you see on television, the ones addicted to prescription drugs and just barely dodge prison, so there you sit facing a decision. I never take time to really talk about anything that I go through in my life and be genuinely open I don't think anybody would even care, but I would want them to. <laughs> That's the only reason why I even want to become an actor. I want to be a character. I want to live many lives. I want to know what it feels like to be somebody else. This next poem is called Black and Blue. I'm adding more words, I'm taking words away, I'm searching for a deeper meaning. But the name of the poem is Colors. I feel like colors are a reflection of life. We are separated by colors. We are brought together by colors. I wanted to pay homage using this poem to colors and the way that color can be interpreted. I like to dibble and dabble in things that are heavy to talk about. No justice! No justice! No justice! No justice! No justice! Black and blue, black and blue, black and blue, red blood drip from scars drawn across my back as I pull up to the scene with my ceiling mist, diamonds in these chains is too tight around my neck as I lay flat on hardwood in blue waves beat against my black and blue, black and blue, black and blue, green leaves fall from dead weight, swaying from money trees, and always seems to hit the ground at the same time as some crying color woman's knees to cry no more. 
because he is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. And these tears dry on their own. Words Saying Best by Amy Winehouse as I go back to black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue. Gold, pyramids, scrape the skies and can easily be seen with all seeing eyes created by men who look like you and I, T.Y. We were never united. We were bound together and beaten black and blue. My name is Antonio Oliveira III, and I'm a preload supervisor for UPS. I'm also attending Fresno City College to become a teacher. I'm also an artist who has been affected by COVID-19. So I hope you're willing to share in my journey. Antonio, he, um, we're covering kind of both being the essential worker and he's also done a dance piece connected to that. So I'm hoping that you will give me sort of a brief overview of what story you're trying to tell with your dance. So right now the, the story as it sits is we're talking about the, the, the fear of the unknown. So we are contending with all of these new practices, ideas, even if it's just, you know, wearing a mask, it's, it's, it's new to someone. And, you know, there's, there's a lot that is associated with that. We're just pushing towards getting away from that fear, toward trying to break out of that shell. Antonio, are you the embodiment of the fear? I think I'm also the the fear and also the embodiment of who we are when we are scared. We can break out of it and we can embrace new ideas and we don't need to be scared of whatever it is. We can we can be new and that's okay. Okay, Gabe, how, how far in is that, um, how far into the song is that tribal component, roughly? It doesn't have to be exact. I think he's referring to this right after the first hard driven kick. Okay. It's about 45 seconds. 45 seconds then? Should we listen to the music? Gabe, do you have it up? Yes. Let's hear it. Okay. Antonio, if you want to use this as a skeleton, if, it, if there are things about it you want to change, or if you would rather me um, revise it again over actual footage of your piece, I'm uh, definitely willing to do that. I love, I love where we're at at this, at this moment. What happened? 
Okay, so yes, I, I I recently lost my job with UPS. So you know, it was uh, it, it it was it was a real bummer for a time. But um, you know, n nothing on them. There's no there's no hard feelings. I recently got an opportunity to learn how to butcher. So I'm working in a custom meat processing shop as as a butcher. It's all just just building it up. You know, I like to to have a, a super weird resume of like, oh, and you do this, you know. Uh, th I, that's, that's and butcher. Yeah, <laughs> not not at the same night, hopefully. <laughs> Are you, are you comfortable talking about your dad? So, uh, yes, my, my father did pass away from COVID. It was, it was, it was definitely, it was definitely, uh, a confirmed case of like, yes, he had this disease and he did have factors which made him more susceptible. Diabetes, um, had uh, uh, lung issues, had just, you know, he should have been one of those people who was self-isolating, who, you know, who should have been taking these precautions. Because when he contracted the virus, he was in Florida visiting uh, my my uncle. And, um, you know, as as far as I know, he was one of the people who didn't believe the hype. He uh, he he paid the the ultimate price for that. You know, he wanted he wanted his rights so bad. Well, you know, he he got his last rights for sure. How are you coping? Because drinking heavily. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> really, it's it, it's it's it has been the work. I, I I choose to keep myself busy, and that's you know that's that's just who I am. Hi Antonio, I'm praying for you and your family to find some peace, love, and joy during this really really hard time. I miss your enthusiasm and your energy. I can't even come close to knowing how that type of hurt is for a person, but I just, I wish you peace, man. And I love you. I can't wait to be able to, you know, see you again. I just wanted you to know that you are on my mind all the time and your family is as well. You guys are in my thoughts and in my prayers and I wish you nothing but peace and love. When I heard about his dad, I, you know, it, I think it was a big wake up call that that could happen to anybody. I um, just hope that Antonio's doing okay and that he is being, um, you know, covered in love and support. I'm very sorry for your loss, Antonio. I love you and I wish you well in this time of mourning. So Antonio, I love you. I love you very dearly. And when we talked last at the, at the positivity, um, event, I asked, um, like, what do you do or what do you say to someone that's struggling around this time? And he said to keep pushing forward. Just keep pushing forward. It does not feel good right now. Things are a lot heavier than what any of us could have ever expected. But just realize that if you make it through this, you can make it through anything. Are there any silver linings for you? Have you had, I mean, you've had a pretty rough, rocky few months. Have you found anything? Have any points of wisdom kind of led you to a new level of being in any way? I feel so blessed to go on social media and see almost all of the people that I follow taking selfies with their masks. You know, even if, even if they're out in public, they're out at a bar, at a party, whatever, they have their mask on. 
I have realized that my circle is very smart. And so I feel, I feel blessed that I, I have so many brilliant friends who have not quit. They're not letting this thing defeat them. And, you know, I, I think it just goes to show the, the resilience of who we are, especially as artists, you know, that people continue to create. They continue to write, they continue to film, to sing, even though they feel caged, even though they do feel stuck. It does not stop for them. And these people are the ones that I want to keep in my circle for the rest of my days, because one of these days, this is going to be a thing of the past. We're going to laugh about this, you know, at some point in the future. And um, yeah, I can't, I can't wait to share drinks with those people on that day. <laughs> <laughs>